So what happens when COVID vaccination manufacturers get into dispute? Hello, I'm Dominic Walker. Welcome to JMW's Inside Man YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and keep the conversation going in the comment section as well. So Moderna and Pfizer will be two organizations only too familiar to most people watching. Uh, Lucy Marlowe is a senior associate solicitor uh, within JMW's intellectual property department. So Lucy, what's happened? So Moderna have recently filed two litigation suits concerning their patents in the US and Germany against Pfizer. And this litigation is all related to the technology that's incorporated in Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. And Moderna claimed that Pfizer's vaccine incorporates their technology. And what's special about Moderna's technology is that it works by introducing to the body a messenger RNA sequence that contains special genetic instructions so that the person's own cells produce the antigens that are necessary for the virus in question and generate an immune response. And there are two special parts to Moderna's technology. Um, and those are the two parts which Moderna claim Pfizer have copied and incorporated into their technology. It's particularly interesting because originally back um, in the depths of the, the COVID pandemic, Moderna said in October 2020 that it would pledge not to pursue any patent infringement claims against anyone using its patented mRNA technology whilst the first COVID vaccines were being developed and supplied across the world. But now Moderna is saying that it's from the date of um, the 8th of March, 2022, that no, no other companies are licensed to do so. And if they do, if they do supply vaccines that incorporate their technology, Moderna will be coming after them um, for patent infringement. So is the intellectual property valuable? Yeah, patents are extremely valuable to technology companies. So a patent can grant a monopoly for up to 20 years. And by holding a patent, you can prevent a third party, in this case, um, Pfizer, from producing um, a vaccine, um, which is covered by the claims of the patent. So why would Moderna do this? So here, Moderna are, try, are seeking to assert their exclusivity on the fundamental technology that's incorporated into their vaccines. And obviously, if they can claim that um, exclusivity, they can commercially profit from the successful exploitation of that technology. Plus, by bringing this litigation, if Moderna are successful, they may also receive a substantial financial reward by way of compensation. And I know that you work across a lot of different sectors. Um, generally, how can the intellectual property team help? Well, we can advise at the outset as, as to the patentability of certain inventions. And when you, if you're unfortunate to end up in a situation where your patented claims are being infringed by another company, we can advise on that and map out a suitable strategy to ensure that the infringement stops and that you are afforded the protection um, as originally intended by applying for the patent in the first place. Likewise, if it's you know the inverse of that and a, you're in receipt of a letter before action alleging infringement, we can also take a quick review of um, what's been alleged and assess the merits of the case and again map out a suitable strategy for your case given our evaluation of the merits. Lucy, thank you very much for your insight. And if you'd like to contact Lucy and the intellectual property team, you can email insideman at jmw.co.uk or call 0161 82 81 999. Please also subscribe to the JMW Inside Man YouTube channel. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.